And so with that, um, Ms. Wyatt, I want to start with you first. Uh, I want to thank you for all the work that you've done. Grid Alternatives has done amazing work, especially in my district in South Los Angeles. Um, with communities in my district, um, they have gone out and done the work on the rooftops. Now recently, you installed solar and battery storage in Wilmington's Harbor City Community Job Center and individual homeowners solar systems in Watts. Now these projects create green jobs while reducing energy costs and pollution. Many of these clean energy projects are supported by grants from California's climate programs. I wanna see more of these community-led projects in my district and in black, Latino, and indigenous communities across the country. What climate programs can Congress enact to help achieve this? Thank you very much for your question, uh, Congresswoman, and your kind words about the, the great work that um, our construction teams and others are, are doing in California. Um, California has pioneered a lot of great programs and a lot of them have had a lot of success and could be scaled up. Um, the combination of um, subsidies that uh, get uh, the, uh, just bridge the gap to enable um, institutions serving low-income people and, and low-income households themselves directly on their own rooftops uh, to get the benefits of clean energy. Um, those could come from the federal government as well as the state government. They could go through uh, state and local governments or other institutions, and we've made a number of recommendations in our written comments on um, some suggestions for how to do that. There have been a number of legislative proposals in recent years. Um, these could be um, coordinated in addition through weatherization uh, assistance and energy assistance. Um, again, we don't want to set up clean energy to compete with those very important programs, but uh, by fully, fully fully funding those and in addition, um, including renewable energy, uh, low-income renewable energy with those programs, you could really multiply the beneficial impacts. Um, you know, it, we also leverage the investment tax credit wherever we can, uh, making that directly accessible to low-income communities and tribes and nonprofits would uh, really enhance its utility and level the playing field uh, for investments um, in renewable systems for those beneficiaries. Um, Congress has a lot of room for creativity to uh, get clean energy to where it's gonna have the most benefit. 